A federal agency is considering whether to grant hundreds of millions of dollars to the 30-meter telescope project. As KITV 4's Aali Iduklo reports, the National Science Foundation first needs the public's input. The NSF launched a formal study today asking the public to weigh in on the environmental impacts of the 30-meter telescope. At stake, a proposed investment of about $800 million, or 30% of the project's total construction costs. It's a process that could take several years to finish, and part of that process would be meeting with individuals, communities, and organizations about the TMT and its possible impacts on Mauna Kea. Knowing the more than $2 billion 30-meter telescope has been hotly debated for years, the Native Hawaiian Legal Corporation hopes to spread the word on the NSF's plan to roll out an environmental impact statement on the project. The TMT's executive director sent KITV4 a statement reading in part, we encourage all community members to participate in this opportunity to provide input. I think the 30-meter telescope can be a... Uh amazing addition to Hawaii. Tyler Trent is a native Hawaiian earning a graduate degree in astrophysics. He touts the TMT for advancing astronomy, capable of capturing images four times sharper than the new James Webb Space Telescope launched last week and said to have produced the sharpest photos of the distant universe so far. We're just going to see much more improvement and that'll allow us to better understand our universe where we are. But for the thousands of protesters who occupied the base of Mauna Kea for months back in 2019, the TMT would desecrate a summit they deem sacred. There's a resounding no still in the community, um, and that hasn't changed in terms of whether or not we support the building of TMT on Mauna Kea. Healani Sonora Pali, one of the organizers of the group who consider themselves kia'i, or protectors of Mauna Kea, says the NSF has consulted with them before, but she worries their voices are not being heard. We don't want our participation in this process to at all get misconstrued as consent. We have already said a resounding no to whether or not we want, to, want TNT built. While he doesn't agree, Trent hopes all sides of the dispute will offer comment. Share your mana'o, share what's in your mana'o, and get it out there because right now it's the time to speak up. The link to provide feedback is on KITV.com and comments are due by September 17th. Ali Duklo, KITV4 Island News.